this one i'm gonna be giving you guys the best tips and tricks i can think of as someone who has played blade ball for hundreds of hours and have currently 700 wins so these tips and tricks will help you become a pro but before we get started i am doing a 10 dollars roblox gift card and the blade ball battle pass giveaway in my discord so make sure you guys comment your username and join the discord and leave a like and subscribe so the first thing i would recommend for you guys to do is go to the top left here in settings and you, this will pop up so you have you can change your keybinds i currently use mouse one and mouse and f key but the second thing you can do is use mouse one and mouse two for it and you can just change your abilities tip number two is to check your server ping so to check your ping you can just press this settings you, you open up performance stats up here will show you your ping currently i'm at 190 which is really bad but i'm playing with friends so i'm just chilling with it so my best place that i have seen so far is washington for ping but it depends on your area there are two instances when you know the ball is targeting you when your player is red and when the ball is red so to do this you will want to try always keeping your eye on the ball that way if it turns red you don't have to be looking around for it and then just get hit you'll oh you'll know where it is so you're ready to deflect the ball this tip is meant for people that are camp always camping by the wall don't camp here just put, waiting for the ball to come to you being a free pick for people you want to go move around and try to pick others off there we go as soon as i moved in towards them i got that kill if i was moving far away they get the upper hand in movement you guys always want to be careful when you're near two people clashing because when they are clashing they can always just ch change the trajectory to being you and you will have basically no time to react so whenever there are people clashing you want to stay a bit far away now here is the one of the main components of the game curving the ball so curving the ball is basically when the ball is going at a faster pace you can look at a different direction and the ball will be pushed onto that direction before it goes towards the player this could destroy players timing on flashes and other things because they will not see it they'll just their mind is programmed to think of a certain timing and they just keep on clicking for that they're getting used to it so to take out their flow you have to curve the ball make it harder for them to get into that flow potentially kill them which lets you have a better chance of winning so learning to master curves will help you a lot in winning more games catching your opponent off guard is mainly used when you are clashing with another person so let's say there are three people left over and you are one of the two that are clashing while you are clashing you want to speed up the ball so that it goes at a faster rate and when it's going fast enough you want it to, you want to aim it at the third person that has no time to react so that they are eliminated which most of the time works if you are far away from them they have more of a time to react but the closer you are and the faster the ball is going it's a lower chance they will react which will save you the hassle of forcing them after you win your clash now you can just focus on the main clash and beat the other person to get the win so for this tip what i want you guys to notice is your surrounding there are a lot of people on the map and until it says stand standoff you want to be aware of where they are sometimes they can be hiding right behind you getting ready to aim at you as soon as they get the ball and you'll be shocked you'll turn around boom the ball will be at your face so you want to either stand behind people but don't let anybody stand behind you that way you always have the surprise but you are never surprised there's a di key difference in those two if any of these tips did help you guys get better at the game make sure you guys subscribe and like, leave a like if we can break 15 likes i'll do a part two of this series and comment down below what other videos you want to see next and join our discord for our giveaway for the battle pass and i thank you all for watching see you in the next one